Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 15th of January 2021 and the time has just gone 8.50 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is Pound Dollar or Cable, as it's referred to in the markets. Um, pound Dollar Cable has been in a solid upward trend. Uh, in fact, yesterday uh, it traded brief, brief, briefly traded above one spot 37, uh, its highest level uh, in, in about two and a half years. So the, so the, the market is clearly in, in a fairly uh, in an upward trend. If we continue to press that higher from here, we could be looking at heading back up towards one spot 37.92, a level last seen in April um, to 2018. So we could be heading back up towards one spot 37.92, and if we go beyond that. The next big number to the upside will, of course, be 140. Now, if we do see any moves to the downside in sterling, we could see uh, support come into play from the late December lows in around one spot 34.29, which is this area here. And that isn't too far away from this blue line here, the 50-day moving average, and that comes into play in at one spot 34.10. And notice how on a couple of occasions, not too long ago, uh, in December, the 50-day moving average acted nicely as support. And if the metric has been has been important in the past, it makes it more likely to be to be of importance in the future. Although there are no guarantees, um, but even if you do have uh, a fairly sizable move to the downside, and if you do take out the 50-day moving average, support could be found from this yellow line here, the 100-day moving average. In a, just just south of one spot 32, and at one spot 31.99, similar scenario that that metric acted uh, nicely as support back in early November. So keep an eye out um, for the 100-day moving average. And obviously, we've been in a, in a solid upward trend the last few weeks, the last few weeks and months. So buying on the dip has been a popular strategy. Now, if you are going to be trading um, pound dollar, it's worth your while keeping an eye on what's going on with sterling in general. Uh, one of the things that we offer here at CMC Markets uh, is Forex indices, and that can be found under our products, uh, head down, to, down further in the list, Forex indices, and it's the same premise as the stock market index, but it's for currencies. And if you take a look at what's going on with the CMC GBP index, the sterling index, we can see that broadly speaking, since the lows of mid-September has been in a, up, a fairly solid upward trend. In fact, yesterday, the highest that we saw yesterday, um, in its highest level since September, um, since September uh, 2020. So sterling as a whole is in, its upward, in, in is an upward trend. A moment ago, we took a look at the um, at the a moment ago we took a look at the pound dollar trend, which is which is clearly trending higher because it hit its highest level in over two and a half years. So this ties in with, with Dow theory, um, which is one of the tenets of Dow theory is that if the averages must confirm each other, which essentially states uh, if, a if a market is moving in a similar direction, similar markets should be moving in a similar direction too. So if you're, if you're seeing pound dollar move higher, it's hardly surprised that the CMC GBP index is also pushing higher. Now, if you're going to be trading pound dollar, or to be honest, any of the kind of major currency pairs today, uh, it is worth noting that at half one, we have a couple of important economic announcements from the U.S. I said, I said half one, 1330 GMT. Uh, we have the U.S. Empire Manufacturing reading for January, and we have the uh, U.S. Retail Sales reading for December, which is obviously be the all important month being Christmas. Uh, traders will be wondering how much internal demand has there been in the all important uh, month of December. That's all from this video. Thank you for listening. Have a good trading week and good luck.